With tree lightings and other festive events, many shopping plazas can become social spots in the months of November and December. And getting people out to malls this time of year is crucial for retail businesses. Quite honestly, the holiday shopping season is the most important time for any retail. Basically, November, December, this holiday season is the time in which you are going to make it or break it for the next year, if you think about it. A lot of spending takes place at the holiday season, a lot. If consumers are confident in the um, markets and in their investments and in their businesses, they tend to spend more. So this is a critical period that economists and investors are gonna be watching. While the tally from this year's shopping season won't be known until early 2020, the National Retail Federation is forecasting approximately a 4% rise in holiday sales. And online sales are expected to increase between 11 to 14%. All of this is fueled by overall positive signs of growth in the U.S. gross domestic product, the value of all goods and services produced by a country. So with a strong GDP, that signals that everything is running very, very well. Along with that, we find that wages increase, therefore spending increases. But not all of that spending finds its way to traditional retail stores. For some students, it's easier to pull out one of these to shop, right here on campus even, rather than drive somewhere and pull out all of these. I like to get things done ahead of time so I wanted to start probably like a week before Thanksgiving I started getting all my gifts and most of it was online. It's a lot easier to do it all in one spot like Amazon per se and then it all just comes in one box and then you're done. All you have to do is pick up your phone or sit with your laptop and click 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 click. You can get your groceries, you can get your toilet paper, you can get a beautiful dress, you can get shoes, you can get a suit, you can get whatever you want. Despite this exodus towards digital shopping, some businesses, like locally owned Rustic Journeys, still see demand for the in-person experience. There's pros and cons of online shopping because it may not be true to size or may not look exactly like it does in the pictures online. The trends specifically, even with our um, business, is folks really want the handmade, they want um, pieces that they can make a connection with and they feel like it's home when they're giving a gift to somebody. It's that warm fuzzy feeling. Trends are always changing no matter what industry you're in. Um, so as far as retail is concerned, I think we might all agree to some degree that the standard mall, that trend is changing. For Roar TV, I'm Savannah Rodriguez.